Hey ladies and gents, we are back with some Avorian and we are looking at uh, the new economy, the supply and demand, uh, specifically going through some stuff and this is going to take a while. So this is going to be a long video just because it's got a lot of, um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, now we talked about, now I'm going to ask, ans answer a few questions here quick uh, before we get carried away. Now when we were looking at ships uh, for trading systems, uh, somebody made a um, question about it, I should say, uh, about what trading system uh, and where do they work or do they still work? Now, what I'm looking at here is a salesman's trading system, an exotic one, and it gives you prices of goods, price deviation, trade route, and economy overview. Now, well, economy overview is what we're talking about is the, um, to see it, you have to use the galaxy map here. And this is the colored stuff, uh, and you can go to the top up here and change it here. Um, you know, so the the the, the bluer the color, the less uh, need for the product is. The darker red it is, or reddish, yellowish is a good indicator. It's starting to turn, uh, but this can be dark, dark blue. So right now there is not a whole lot of um, need for mining robots here. It's pretty lukewarm. You're not going to get the uh, big payoffs. Uh, so yeah, that's the difference. Now, the different versions of that trading um, obviously there is the exotic there's also the legendary and you'll notice the same thing here so price of goods price of deviation say yes 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 and the economy review says no the only way the economy overview works uh, you have to go down to permanent installations and once you activate the permanent installation you will get the economy overview that works down to say the yellow we still get it here however once you get to the blue um, no so, uh, purple, red, yellow, you can get the economy overview on your map. Once you get to the blue, though, you won't. You can get prices of goods, price deviations, trade routes, but you cannot get the economy overview. So, same way with the green and same way with the white. So, you have to get into the higher three, um, yeah, the higher three, legendary, exotic, or exceptional before you get that overview. Quick little question to an answer. Or a quick little answer to a question and the other one and we're gonna stop when I'm um, doing this because it does not work when we switch it switch through um, loading screens so give me a second here what loads Okay, back. Um, yeah, so loading screens always seem to screw up here. Uh, we are looking at... Um, one of the questions was, if you put mechanics on capture stations... So now I have a ton of capture stations here. Uh, the Smuggler's Market, that one's a shipyard. And this one I turned into a trading post. Now this thing's been running for close to probably 10 or 12 hours. Uh, and even though this is fully staffed with mechanics, uh, it's not repairing itself. And of course there's freaking pirates. Always, every time I get into one of these videos, pirates show up. So yeah, um, capture stations, uh, you, there's nothing you can do about them. Um, you either have to fix them or you're going to have to destroy them to get the material off of it. Uh, but yeah, any other way, there's just not any... There's no, other, there's no other way around it. Oh, come on. So yeah, there's... Um, I'm not sure if that's a bug or if that's intended. Um, when you capture a station, they're not going to make a difference. And of course these guys show up too. They're headhunters. So, uh, that question answered, um, no, the, it does not absolutely no good to put mechanics on there or use repair beams on any capture station. They will not repair unless you do it from the, um, do it from the builds. Uh, and if you want to repair this station, it's going to be 2 million, overnight, 2 million Zanian 
to repair it. So if you really want the station um, to be, you know, fully repaired, you're going to have to do it from the build. You can't use mechanics and you can't use repair beams. I don't like I said, I don't know if this is a bug or if this is actually how it was intended. So capturing stations are going to be one of those. Are you going to get enough material off of it? Um, enough um, stolen stuff off of it to make it worth its while. And only the really way, only real way to get the material off the station is to once you claim it, um, take every, take all, take all the stuff off of it, and then blow it up and then salvage it. Um, but other than that, um, if I go right now and uh, I decide to um, uh, destroy it, uh, which means I'll take the uh, off safe mode select the whole thing, delete it. I'm only going to get like 25, 30,000 material out of this. Um, so yeah, blowing the station up, however, I'll get hundreds of thousands. Uh, so I don't know, like I said, if it's a bug or if it's actually something uh, was intended in the game. Um, the other little thing I wanted to talk about, of course, was the... Somebody else had this question about the new maps that you can buy at Equipment Docs. It'll show a faction's um, entire systems right now I'm having trouble to make it work I don't once again know if this is a bug going on right now or what um, I've tried it a few times to get to buy faction maps and they just for some reason they weren't working now that could be the fact that is my it might have something to do with um, my uh, vault is completely full. I have 2,800 of for a thousand slots and um, so if I if I use a map I'm not sure if it's getting lost in here because I have this is completely full. They changed this a patch ago <coughs> where you can only have a thousand items in your inventory. However I had almost 3,000 so I don't know if that's caused the problem. If anybody has <coughs> any information about the maps post it down below if anybody else is having problems or if you found out a way to make them work, I obviously I'm, I'm thinking this might be my problem is I have too much in my inventory to make it work because I've bought multiple maps and I've yet to get them to completely work yet. So those three those three questions, yeah, we we're, we're, we're covered them, um, and now we're going to jump back to uh, what we were doing here before, which is essentially the part of the video. And I'm, I'm a terrible what do you want to call it uh, uh, writing replies. I'll probably write the reply anyway, but. Uh, here we go. So we're going to switch back to the Maru. Alright, so we switched back to the Maru, and we found out this mining plant is doing nothing for me. Or mining robot uh, plant is not doing anything for me. Now, you watched the other video, I found a hot spot up here where they need mining robots. So what we're going to do is we're going to demolish this mining plant, or mining robot plant, and we're going to move it. So, essentially this is a um, fire, we're just going to, uh, going out of business sale, basically. We're going to destroy this. Um, mining plant here and we're gonna move it I don't need to do this um, you know this is my kind of my my creative server anyway I've destroyed uh, plants move them around over the over the gameplay so it's not unusual for me to do this anyway but we're gonna do this um, just to, to try to kind of show in the video if you're starting out sometimes it'd be better off to destroy a plant um, and then just move it to a better location so we're going to move up in here and what we're going to do is here we're going to take off all the crew and all the material. Uh, this is a essentially a uh, very a large cargo ship um, with uh, big enough crew quarters that lets me uh, move these. Like I said, I've did this multiple times with different ships or different stations that did not, were not working very well. Um, so yeah, this is, like I said, something I do quite often, hence why I have a ship that's almost specifically designed uh, for this. So what we're going to do is we're drop all the crew off here or pull all the crew. We're going to transfer 
Uh, so this one's only got a whole lot there. We're going to transfer all the crew over here, and we're all going to bring all the material over here as well. Um, and now this station should be defunct. Uh, there is no crew and there is no material on it, so it's pretty much just worthless. So, but we're going to get rid of it before we go. And we're going to jump into it here. So, she's all ready to go. Um, what's we going to do here? How about we make sure we save design? We'll save it to design. Save it to the designs. Um, there we go. And we'll, yeah, it's about a million Zanian. So I should get back most of that when I get rid of it here. So turn off safe mode. And we're going to select the whole thing and we're just going to delete it. And we're done. So I got about, not quite back all my Zanny out of the deal, but you get back a pretty good chunk of it. Alright, so we're going to jump into him. We have it completely loaded with everything we should need to build a new plant somewhere else. And like I said, this is one of those deals where it's like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm using this as a, uh, where do we get to go? We're going to go up here. Um, I don't like this interface so much to get the overview of where I'm going. There we go. So we're going to jump here. And we're going to go up here and, and build, rebuild the station um, in a better, more lucrative area. Maybe that's the better word for it. So, once again, loading screen. We are going to jump out of here as soon as we get the uh, large group of alien ships have appeared. Well, apparently, they hopefully they're not. Um, hopefully, those guys are not hostile. We'll see here. All right, make one more jump here. I've already set this up. We should have. Yeah, we're going to go here. And then we're going to look at that um, overview again to see, show you what I'm talking about for hot commodities. Alright, so we're back in the area here. We should have a ship ready to go. There's the mining robot. I, I'm going to try to... So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up and I'm just going to let it run. I'm going to put the material I have on here on that ship and we're just going to let sit it back and let's see what happens. I'm kind of curious. I'm not terribly sure how this is, supply and demand is going to work uh, yet. So we're just going to let it... We're just going to sit here uh, and try to make it run here. So we're going to take him and we're going to move off a little bit. Um... So I built the ship here because there's a there was a there was a, sh a, sh a, sh a, a docking sh uh, a shipyard here, so I don't have to fly a ship here specifically. So we're gonna run him out a little ways here before we build this uh, mining robot um, factory, and of course using the existing ships from this faction. Uh, this isn't something from my one of my own shipyards. Uh, it's just more convenient than having to build one of my other shipyards and jumping it all the way over here. Uh, maybe something to think about when you're moving your, when you're building your factories, you know. Uh, obviously using the uh, available shipyards um, is going to be a lot easier than having to move um, these uh, ships to an area where you can uh, build something. So we are looking at about 13. I'm trying to get as far away from that jump point as possible. Um, there isn't, you know, being that this is a system um, of a friendly faction, they do have warships involved here, so I don't have to worry about this as much as I would if it was one of my own systems. They're going to defend it for me, so we're going to get out here a little ways. All right, that's far enough here, so we're going to build the found the station here, and we're going to look at some of the, this is the high-tech factories. These are your high-end, uh, rather expensive, 190 million credits for uh, a mining robot factory. So we're going to transform it that into that. There we go. And boom. So right now, trading goods-wise, um, yeah, the profit margin is going to be... So, so that's the difference right there. And I should have showed you that before I jumped in, how hot this was. Let's go back to that freighter because we got to move him over here too anyway all right all 
Uh, where'd you go? There we are. He's at about 25 kilo 20 kilometers. So we're gonna move him over. That's just that right there is another troop ship that carries a large number of troops and, or uh, crew. If I need to crew this bigger or more, I need more crew members. But before we get there, we'll bring up the galaxy map and we're gonna look at. Uh, this is kind of an experiment because this is really going to be the first time I'm going to mess with this mining robot. See how it's the red? How this this is an area that needs mining robots, uh, almost 25 percent um, compared to. So the high end you're going to get is 30 percent at the hot. So yeah, we're in the hot area right here for mining robots, and this is the, essentially the reason why I picked it. So we're going to jump back over here. We're going to look at that trade goods thing again. So uh, we're looking at a 25% um, higher in this region. Yeah. And of course, I'm curious if we change that up, if it does anything for the base prices. Uh, so we can drop that just a little bit. Not much. We're not gonna gain much out of that, so we'll see here. And of course, we can do our, we're going to do our upgrades and all that. We're also going to actively crest and actively sell, because I'm going to I'm going to let this sit. I'm not going to bring any of my own stuff here. I just I'm just curious how much money we're going to make off of this. Um, so right now we have a profit to production of uh, ninety seven thousand, which is pretty decent. So we're going to make almost a hundred thousand um, credits uh, per transaction. Um, and of course, this is the upgrade to parallel production. We're going to upgrade this completely. So now we have five, six parallel productions running. Yeah, so we're gonna try that. This is a nice profit margin, we're on 97,000 credits. So even though we're paying high end, a little bit more prices for this stuff, um, it's gonna work out. And I'm like I said, I'm not gonna bring my own stuff here. We're just gonna let this be fed by the um, NPCs. I just kinda, kinda doing a little experiment here because I really wanna see as this thing produces what we're gonna see for um, how much is going to change the need for uh, mining robots in the region if it's going to really affect it just having one station here or can I put three or four stations here uh, making mining robots here so we're going to jump back out like I said this is a hot red area for mining robots and it's a 25 percent increase by putting it in this area you know but like I said I want to find out what this is one station is going to do for the profitability of if it's going to drop this into the yellow or is it going to drop it more into the red or how many of these mining stations I can mining robot plants can I put in here uh, and still keep up the profit so there's going to be a little bit of experimenting going on here all right so we're going to change this guy out um, to that yeah this guy here so we're going to use him what that does is gives me quite a bit more production and it also gives me quite a bit more uh, system upgrade slots and all that kind of stuff really for the amount of you know it's only 4400 credits with the crew pay for that's going to be able to man this thing so it's a I like this design because it's a 5 million hull uh, it can take a beating um, you know even at this layout and the cargo holds at 120,000 so and I still have a huge room for crew so we're going to bring our where is yeah he's the one that's got the crew and the crew and the material here to get this thing guy up and running. So that where I brought it from I was not making a profit at all. In fact it was um, there was nothing going on. So we're, we're gonna see here what happens uh, by bringing it here and how much it's going to uh, in change profitability here so we're going to transfer exchange cargo we'll transfer that all over there um, I am think I'm missing I, I did think I, I had so there's 362 here available already so now crew wise T, uh, let's see here um, oh. what do I need for crew? So I need 282 mechanics, 
15 engineers and assorted. So yeah, so I need about, I got, no, I got enough engineers. I need 282 mechanics, or 260 some mechanics. Um, we're gonna transfer that. Well, what do we got here? Four mechanics. So let's transfer 250 or 200 and, oops. 260. We'll transfer that over, and I needed like, uh, what was it, 30? My bull just transfer 40 or 29. And oh, we need more mechanics too, I guess. There we go. Need more sergeants. Or not sergeants. And a couple of those guys. There we go. So we should be good. Yeah, she should be fully st fully crewed now. So now we're going to back off. Uh, let's pull away from it a little bit here so we can look at if I got anybody inbound here. Of course, we're going to have to set this. There's always a pirate left over. Eh, apparently, they're not doing a very good job of blowing up the pirates. So let's go clean this up here before it gets messed up. And I have to... Um, deal it with myself. Uh, there's one. And I always like improving my... Where did our little friendly bot... Where did our friendly little... Um... Oh, he's way over there, stuck in the asteroid field. Of course he is. Sometimes you just gotta take your... God, you wouldn't think this would be hard to do. There we go. And we'll just blow this guy up for sure. So he's out of the way. Yeah. So we get um, better ratings anyway. So we already got our first cargo hauler going in there. And let's jump back in there and make sure everything's set up here to do for the trade goods. So I got it. Uh, I'll just set it at even. And I still got the 97,000. Yeah, 97, and we got everything checked here. So we're going to see what our profitability be as we let this run. Um, hopefully, we'll come, I'll come back to this after a few hours of gameplay and see exactly what I ended up making on this deal. So everything should be factory appears to be working as intended. So everything should be good to go. And we'll, yeah, so we're just going to jump out of this uh, and leave it as is. So hopefully, I think that thing needed, if I'm right, right or wrong, I think it needed Yeah, it needed drills. So I think I have to wait till some drills come. If the drills don't show up, I'll have to go get it myself, which isn't a big deal. So we're going to let this sit and simmer for a few game hours and see what my profitability will be on this because it's nice to be able to track that now. Because we'll actually jump back over that last system. Uh, the reason, one of the reasons why I've changed, and we'll jump into this one. Uh, Switch to craft and sector. Let's jump into the. Ooh, which one do I want? Um, yeah, let's swip into that. Okay, uh, what I was going to show you before I jumped out of here, which I didn't, there's the body armor factory. We're going to look at the trade goods on it. Um, and this is where you're going to see some of the difference here. So now this has been up and running since the patch change. Um, but yeah, this is what's nice about being able to... Uh, so we've spent $645 million. We've gained... So we, our profit on the station is $230 million so far. This is one of the reasons why I'm not moving this one right away. Um, because I'm still making a profit here. I'm making 40,000 credits per body armor, and they're still buying it. So I'm not in the interest of moving 
this station like I was with the mining robot. The mining robot wasn't making me any money. In fact, I was really far in the red on that one. So this one, though, is still making cash and there's still people showing up, so it's not a big deal. Uh, so we're going to, like I said, see, stay with this in the gen. But it's nice to be able to see this, right? So far, um, just to probably in two... I've only probably played three hours really since this last patch. So I've my my profit is already 230 million. So I'm not complaining about that. The other profit on the other one, the other big one I have here, apparently the Zotans have visited. I'm probably gonna have to blow all of them up. Of course I would. Uh, we'll jump to him so we can look at that other station. Um, the War Robot Factory. Now this has been running the same time as that one, obviously, but unfortunately this one is not making the profit. Um, and this has to do with the fact is that the power units are all, you know, 8, 10% above and we're looking at a 5%. So I could actually drop that base price a little bit, maybe change this. And we're at a, right now we're at a negative 4 million. And our profit production is 37,000 between so if less this changes this might end up getting moved as well uh, just because you know four million profit now that probably could change because right now i have uh 276 war, war robots so if they come and take these or buy these uh, i'll easily jump into the uh, plus side on the profit so it's just going to be a sit in the waiting game kind of see how this plays out uh, keep checking these factories um, and making sure that I'm making money on these, otherwise they're probably going to get moved like that mining robot. Alright, with that said guys, one last thing before I leave. Um, thank you for watching, it's 26 minutes, probably longer than I needed to. Um, for these changes to take place on all your different locations, um, especially all these like say for a trading post, this trading post over here, or any mines, from my understand from the patch notes, you, has to, you have to jump into each one of those um, sectors which is going to be a shit ton of time for me to go around and jump into every one of these sectors to get all the updated patch information to take effect now that's i like i said this is what i was understanding when i was reading the patch notes so if you have multiple sectors and nothing and it doesn't seem to be working right jumping into the sector will of course i think what i understand uh, make the new patch changes work so with that said guys um, you guys have a good night and thanks for watching.